Griffin. I'm a former IRS agent and teaching instructor with the Internal Revenue Service. Today, I'm going to talk to you today about uh, what happens if you ignore the IRS bills that you're sending you uh, sending to you. I was a former revenue officer. I worked at IRS for a decade. I've been in private practice for four decades. Most of you have come to me. If you've seen me on the national news many times, I appreciate you coming. Uh, you can look at my uh, interviews and my website. More important to see my team of former IRS agents at 777irs.com. Uh, anyway, um, as a former agent, I used to send out notices to people to, to come in and see me and um, I get a lot of calls because IRS is levied and taken wages from people. So my question is that I'm going to answer is what happens if you uh, do not respond to the IRS bills and collections? What IRS does is they send you a series of, of notices out over a period of time. It's actually over a, a five-month period of time. They send you your initial bill as a CP14. Six weeks later, it goes to a 501. Six weeks later, a 503. Six weeks later, a 504. And then a, a 1058 letter. At the end of that uh, 504 letter into the 1058, if you don't respond to IRS, and that 1058 period goes back, guess what? IRS is going to send you a bank levy and a wage or a, or a wage garnishment levy, and it's possible that for they will file a federal tax lien. Um, IRS is systematic about doing this. There isn't a person who guards your account and say, oh, let's see, this person did not, it's time to file this. No, the computer does all this all by itself. You can stop, and I will tell you, they will. There is no question that they will send that levy and that information out. Where they get this information from, it's on your IRS transcripts. IRS keeps your wage information and your 1099 information and your bank information for six years. You can go to irs.gov, pull up your transcripts, and you'll find out that it's all there. You can find out your levy sources if you just go to wage and income tra transcript portal. So I just encourage you that if you don't pay this, you are going to get that levy, and it's going to always come at a bad time. I can call us today. We can stop the process. We can work out a deal with the Internal Revenue Service. In fact, that you need. Don't be a scared. Don't be afraid of them or scared of them. It's you just don't have to do that. You just got to pick up the phone and call them. Anyway, if you call my office, you always speak directly to me. Please give me a subscription. My information is below. Thank you. And listen, just don't wait. There's it's either easy to deal with, or much easier than you think. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time. I do appreciate your subscription.